Hola amigos, today I'm going to talk to you about framing fasteners. This is our Highland Heights ATX project here in Austin, Texas. It's a new build and we've got 2x6 stud walls as well as the Zip R3 sheathing which is about a one inch thickness going on top of these studs. So for this particular project we have gone with the three inch nails at the 0.120 diameter and we have gone with screw shank also known as ring shank and the hot galvanized right and the way we decided on that is we simply looked at our structural engineering plans and our structural engineer had called this whole thing out and we followed that prescription to the T. Come over here and let me show you how these fasteners penetrate into this particular stud wall. So we want to have typically guys an inch and a half minimum bearing from the sheathing from the inside of the sheathing to the inside of the stud wall so these fasteners go in at an angle so that needs to be factored in your analysis and decision making and you see the back of the nail right here to the back line of the sheathing is going to be roughly one and three quarters inch so again we wanted to have one and a half inch minimum bearing within that stud wall we don't want to have a lot more than that like with a super long fastener because once you get mechanical electrical plumbing in these walls you really want to have a nice center line that is clear of fasteners and so that's why that one and a half inch is a good marker but you do want to have that at a minimum you don't really want to have like one and a quarter or anything like that um, so that's how they sit in there uh, through that one inch zip sheathing right and then this for example is a typical framing nail and this one is not hot galvanized this one is not screw shank or ring shank and this one is a little bit wider it's a 1.31 width diameter which is a little bit more like the old school width that a framer would grab the uh, differences of the two kind of look like this so I'm kind of check this out you've got this one has all like the screw lines on it all the threads and this one has nothing this one will rust very rapidly and can deteriorate uh, these ones will not rust and deteriorate rapidly and that's why they're hot galvanized and that's why they cost more money this box right here uh, in front of me I think cost a little over a hundred dollars for the box whereas a box of these nails would cost maybe around fifty dollars so there is a big price difference there we as the builder typically pick up any sort of price difference or actually a lot of times just provide the fasteners for our framers if we're requiring hot galvanized and ring shank just because that is above and beyond what a framer is usually going to bid but you definitely can handle that negotiation within your subcontractor agreement with your framer but i highly recommend getting that out of the way and making sure that that is crystal clear um, because once a structural engineer comes out here he can actually require a remedy if the correct fasteners have not been used that can be very expensive so you definitely want to consult your structural drawings and your structural engineer on those fastener requirements and again that is exactly how we came to the decision to opt for this particular fastener which we are using to install the sheathing and all the connections for the two by six walls we even have prescriptions for our structural headers ldls and all that and all that comes from our structural drawings so make sure that you are analyzing your structural drawings when making those decisions and using everything that is prescribed or better so when talking about better one option that we could have done here is we could have gone with the exact same fasteners but with the 0 0.131 diameter and those would have probably cost us about 60 more dollars per box jumping it from maybe like a hundred dollar box to 160 uh, that would have probably been stronger and even more robust but uh, because we followed the structural engineer's prescription to a T, we decided to save the $60 per box and just go with the structural engineer's recommendation. And we feel like these guys are going to be pr plenty strong in both holding the sheathing and all this 2x6 wall framing together. So keep all that stuff in mind when selecting fasteners and make sure that everybody is on the same page from the very beginning because it's very important how all the connections of your framing elements are coming together and that you're aligned with your structural drawings and that everybody is 100% on the same page. So I hope that helps you all out there. Adios, amigos.